Hi, good morning. It's Rachel Plain and I'm here at Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. Um, and it is Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. and we are about to start our gentle, moderate flow yoga class. Um, this will go from 9 to 10. It's an hour long class. We'll start with a centering, um, we'll move into some breath work, some meditation, some standing flow, we'll end in relaxation at the end. So we're here on Facebook Live um, and I can see you guys are starting to hop on. So we'll just give it a minute or so so people can join us. Hi Cheryl, good morning, good to see you. I love that you and Tom are practicing with us from home, that's so awesome. Good morning Joanne, good to see you. Um, this is great, this is just like the check-in process process at the studio. Normally I'd be at the front desk, you'd be signing in, dropping your $10 in the bowl. So same thing, but except we're in the virtual um, world. So it's so good to still see who's here, who's joining us. Welcome. I'm so glad that you guys are here to um, practice yoga with us. So it's so awesome to see some familiar faces and names. Chris is here, Lisa, Jenna, oh my gosh, Teresa, good, good, good. And this is great too. I love seeing folks that I don't always get to see in the morning, um, but I know through Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. So you guys welcome that are usually in our other classes. Helen's here. Um, it's so awesome that you're trying out some different things. So um, thank you from the bottom of my heart for still practicing. It means so much to me. Every morning when I wake up, I'm like, okay, today's gonna be a good day. It's beautiful, it's sunny, we're moving, we're practicing, we're finding joy through movement together. And I just feel really, really blessed to be able to do work that I love um, and still be able to show up and share this practice and know that you guys are practicing from home. So I'm so glad that you're still with us. Thank you so much for following along. So if you happen to be hopping on for the first time and you haven't been with us before, we've been live streaming now since mid-March. Um, we're offering a, offering a lot of virtual classes through Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, either live stream on Facebook um, or pre-recorded and uploaded to YouTube. We also have a few live classes that are offered on Zoom and Google Hangouts. So um, most of our face, all of our Facebook lives will eventually go up to YouTube, so you can watch them there as well. So if you miss them or you're tuning in late, you can go to YouTube, watch them over another time or from the beginning if you're tuning in in the middle. Um, and uh, yeah, you can also see them under the video tabs of our Facebook page. So this is a wild time to learn this virtual world with you guys, but thanks for um, being here. Ro Roberta, ba Robbie, good to see you. <laughs> so funny, when I see your name, Roberta, I'm like, yeah, I know you as Robbie. And my mom's here. Okay, great. This is awesome. So we'll get going. Um, my name is Rachel Plain. I'm with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. It's Wednesday morning at nine and we are about to do our gentle, moderate flow class. Uh, we offer these classes free of charge as a gift to our community during these wild times. Um, and while donations aren't expected or required, if you're interested in supporting us, you can visit supportbydf.com and make a contribution to the studio or to the instructors that are offering their time. And many of you have done that, so thank you so much. If you're able to do that and you have done that, Thank you so much. Um, if you're interested, again, support BYDF.com. Not necessary, but welcomed and appreciated. So this gentle, uh, moderate flow class, you don't need anything special, just your mat is fine. If you like to practice with uh, blocks or bolsters or anything, just have that nearby. Um, happy Wednesday. Yeah, did I say it's another day? I don't even know. Maybe I was thinking it was Friday or Monday. I woke up this morning and I forgot what day it is. So happy Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> I hope I said Wednesday. Um, all right, great. So we'll get going. We have a good crew here. So we'll start seated. Good morning, Shannon. Uh, let's go. Here we are. So you come into a comfortable seat. <sighs> Just close your eyes and take some time to land. Um, so we'll always start with a centering, a time to drop into our bodies and into our breath and into whatever space that you're practicing. So just take a few moments to settle here, bringing your hands onto your lap and just feeling the tops of your legs. And then taking some time just to Find that sway, so find just kind of this gradual forward and back or side to side of your body, starting to rock yourself or lull yourself into this place of stillness. So just taking some time to really feel the sit bones, really feel the legs, really feel the hips, really feel the lower body connected to the ground or whatever you're sitting on. So especially during these times where we're off our schedules perhaps, 
or we're in new schedules and things can feel chaotic or hectic or uncertain, using this practice as an opportunity to find this sense of groundedness or this ability to feel stability, to feel connected, to feel aligned, and the swirling thoughts and things that are happening outside of this moment right now, just letting that be, just for the next hour, letting the thoughts, ideas that are swirling in your mind, just letting them settle. Starting to feel that chaos start to slip into more of a state of peace. Sitting up long and tall, take a deep inhale. And exhale, round your back, take a little cat pose. So we'll come still again in a moment, but just feel that rounded spine. Keep your back rounded, hold the bottom, take a deep inhale. And full exhale. As you inhale, rise up, lift the front of the body, the ribs, the heart, the chest, the throat. And exhale, round your back. Let's hold the bottom again. So keep that big rounded cat back. Breathe into your back body. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. And then one more time. Inhale, open up the heart. Imagine this light radiating from the heart, opening up towards the sky. And exhale, release last time. And then let this move right into the shoulders just a couple times to warm up. Inhale up. And exhale, release. Just twice more. Inhale, rise. And exhale, let go. Good, you're doing great. One more time. Inhale, shrug the shoulders. And exhale, release the shoulders. And then open the hands up towards the ceiling. Backs of hands touch the lap. And as you exhale, drop your head, but keep your spine really long. Send the breath and awareness to the back of the neck. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. Let the right ear come over to the right shoulder. Open the left side of the neck. And exhale, chin to chest. Go the other way. Inhale, ear to shoulder. Open the neck. And exhale back through center. Take that one more time each side. So just gently rolling through the neck. And back through center. And then last time, ear to shoulder. And back through center. Let your head lift up. Keep your eyes closed. Breathe out where you are. Start to deepen the breath into the lowest part of the belly, the middle section of the ribs and the upper portion of the heart. Exhale to release the chest, relax the ribs, relax the belly, be empty at the bottom of breath. So there's this moment where there's just nothing there. And then inhale, slowly fill it back up, fill the belly, fill the rib cage, fill the heart and chest, expand, open, and exhale, release. Continue that, and just begin to notice that after only a few moments of deepening your breath, of how that might affect the mind, of how that might bring you into more of a state of peace or ease. Notice how that affects the body when you allow the body to be still and to be refueled by this breath, filled up by this breath.
Imagine you could send the breath into all the edges and corners of the body with the breath inviting a new energy, sometimes called prana or life force, filling up with vitality and light and radiance. Imagining this breath almost extending beyond your body, creating this bubble of light, of protection, of love, creating this aura or field around yourself, this golden light, this warmth, this healing energy your whole body surrounded by peace, love, compassion, allowing this practice to be an opportunity to become whole, to unite your body, your mind, your breath, and your spirit, to become most awake, most aware, most present, most aligned. And then the next time that you inhale, let the hands come to touch. That's your prayer position, our Anjali Mudra, palms will meet. And as you exhale, bow your head to yourself. And if you'd like, come into an intention for today. What do you want to focus on? Where do you want to send this energy that you're about to create? How do you want to feel in your body, in your mind, in your heart? And then the next time that you inhale, slide hands to the ceiling, lengthen the arms, lift the face. And as you exhale, goddess the arms. So shine the palms forward, bring the uh, forearms, or the upper arms rather, into the body, the elbows into the waist. And then inhale, arms out and up like Tadasana or mountain pose. They come to shoulder or uh, shoulder width, look up. Exhale, draw the elbows out in and down to your waist. And do that again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Good. And then last time, inhale, lift up. Interlace your fingers, release your pointer, stretch the waist long, and stretch up and over towards the left. Open the ribs, look up. Inhale through center. Exhale, up and over the other way. Inhale through center. And exhale, release the hands. Drop the chin, interlace the fingers. Press the fist down, squeeze the heart open, backs the shoulders press towards each other, look up. Exhale, release the hands, roll the shoulders. Come to all fours, so come over the shins or unwind the legs. So you're gonna come to tabletop. You can have your hands in front of the shoulders and just start to circle your hips. So if you've been with me before, familiar movement, just starting to stir the hips around, starting to open up the knees, the hips, the body churning the waters of the body, waking everything up. And then when the hips come to the back, go to the other way. So start to swing them in the opposite direction. And then eventually take a seat in a wide knee child. Let the big toes touch, separate the knees, sink back. Arms extend, head towards the ground. Roll the head left to right, shift the hips. Left to right. Good. From here, roll forward to tabletop, all fours. Bring the wrists underneath the shoulders, the knees under the hips. Wag the hips a couple times. And then draw the navel up and in. Drop the tail, drop the head around your back. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the tail, look up to cow. As you exhale, curl the spine to cat. And inhale, uh, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the heart to cow. So we're just warming up here. One more time, exhale to curl. And inhale back through cow. Lengthen from your tail to your head, so you're in a tabletop back, curl the toes under, lift the knees up and press the hips back to your first down dog. If this is too much, rest in child or puppy. Inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, drop the right heel, bend the left knee, look underneath the right arm. And then do that again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, switch sides, press the heel down, bend the knee, 
hold, and inhale, lift up. Exhale, both your heels drop, start to come to forward fold. So walk the feet nice and easy, little steps to the top of the mat. When you get their feet hip width, shake it yes with the head. Shake no with the head. Bend the knees round your back to roll up. At the top, a big sun breath. Inhale, lift the arms. And as you exhale, bring your thumb right between your eyebrows and close your eyes. That's your third eye, your place of intuition. Breathe in there. And exhale, bring your thumb to your heart center or to your sternum and pause. Breathe in there. And exhale, release the arms. Bend the knees, bend the hips. You sit into Utkatasana or standing squat. Take a deep inhale here. I'm just going to turn so you can see better. Exhale, release to your flat back. Knees are bent, hips are bent, head in line with tail, arms alongside body. Release the arms, inhale, stand up to Tadasana, press down into the feet. And then exhale, Utkatasana, standing squat to hold. Deep breath in. And exhale, sweep the arms, head in line with tail. One more time, inhale, rise up, lift up. And exhale, sit. Deep breath. Exhale, flat back. Inhale, release, stand up. And then this time, swan dive. So bend the knees and open the arms. So still that bent knee, but the arms open and you dive to forward fold. Inhale, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, hands to shins or fingertips to mat. And exhale, deep fold. You're gonna step the right leg back. So if you need to walk up to the top of the mat, go ahead and do it. The right leg steps back. Hands on the ground or the blocks. Back knee can bend. Heart lifts, front knee bends, look up. And exhale, straighten the legs, drop the head towards the shin. Do that twice more. So bend the knees, inhale, lift the heart, look up. And exhale, lift high on the ball of the back foot, pick the hips up, straighten the legs. One more time, bend the knees, lift up. Exhale, lift the hips. This time, bend the front knee and bend the back knee, and then let the back knee drop down towards the ground. So you could stay here, or you could come up on your fingers and lift the chest right above the hips, and then maybe lift the arms out and up to Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge. And if you feel comfortable there, hook your thumbs and turn your palms forward, and then reach the arms back and press the heart forward and maybe lift the chest and look up. Exhale, open the arms, dive forward, touch the ground or the blocks. If you're on the blocks, you might want to move them away. Scooch the front leg back to meet the back leg to a knee down plank and lower to a modified chaturanga, elbows back. Hands come off the mat, nice and wide, toes uncurl. Inhale, lift the heart to a variation of cobra pose. And as you exhale, drop the left shoulder, twist towards the right and just dip down a little bit. Good, inhale, pick it back up, lift high, lift the chest, you're high on your fingers. And exhale, dip the other shoulder twist. Inhale, lift high. And exhale, release. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders, press back to tabletop, all fours, curl the toes under, lift the knees up, and press the hips back to dog. You could always rest in child. Inhale, rise on the balls of your feet, heels lift. Exhale, right heel drops, left knee bends, look underneath right arm. Inhale up. Exhale, switch. Inhale up. Exhale, both heels drop. If you're comfortable here, lift the right leg to a three-legged dog, but you don't have to. Roll the right ankle. Roll your ankle the other way. Keep your legs straight, point your toe, lift it skyward if you'd like, open up the hips. Let the top knee bend, let the foot fall back to the hip. Inhale, lift it up. And now you'll either step it or help it through, but if it doesn't make it through, that's okay, you can help it through. We're just gonna come to the top of our mat, 
So take as many steps as you need to get forward, and then the back foot meets the front foot. Inhale, lengthen. So if you wanted to take little baby steps there, that would have been okay too. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, bend the knees, bend the hips, fly up through a bent knee, reverse swan dive, palms touch. Like we did in the beginning, thumb to third eye between your eyebrows, tapping into that place of intuition. Take a deep in breath. And exhale, thumb to heart center to sternum hold there. Take a deep breath. And exhale, release. We're gonna do that flow on the other side. So bend the knees, bend the hips, Utkatasana and standing squat to hold. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release the arms alongside the body, head in line with tail. Release the arms, inhale, swing up to stand, Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, bend the knees, bend the hips, Utkatasana, deep breath in. Exhale, flat back, you're doing great. So we're flowing with our breath. Inhale, rise, stand up, Tadasana, mountain pose. And exhale, sit in the chair, you're warming up your legs, building strength, deep breath in. Exhale, swing the arms, getting the joints moving, the body moving. Inhale, rise, Tadasana, stay at the top. Bent knees, swan dive. So bend the knees, that helps protect the back. Open the arms, flat back to dive forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, hands come up to shin bones, flat back, straight legs. And exhale, deep fold. So you're near the top of the mat. If you're not there, just take a couple little steps forward. Send the left leg back. Hands on the ground or the blocks. Bend the back knee, lift the heart, look up. And exhale, lift the hips, straighten the legs, head towards shin. Do that again, bend the knees, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lift the hips, straighten the legs, head towards shin. Last time, bend the knees, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lift the hips, straighten the legs, head towards shin. And then this last time, bend the front knee, bend the back knee, and let the back knee come down to the ground. If you need to double up your mat or pad the knee, you can. Come on the fingertips, lift the heart, hold. If you're comfortable there, hands could come to the top thigh. Lift the shoulders above the hips. If you're comfortable there, arms rise, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. If you're comfortable there, hook your thumbs, turn your palms forward, and then stretch the arms back, stretch the heart forward, lift the chest, lift the face. And exhale, dive over the front leg. Last time, front leg comes back to meet back leg. So if you're on the blocks, you might want to move them away. You're in a knee down plank. Long line from head to shoulders to core to hips to thighs to knees. Take a deep breath. Exhale, lower. Knee down, chaturanga. Elbows come back all the way to belly. Hands slip off the mat nice and wide. Toes uncurl. Inhale, lift the heart up. Lift the chest. Variation of cobra. Exhale, drop the right shoulder. Um, turn towards the left. Dip down. And then inhale, rise up. Lift the chest. Open the heart. Exhale, other shoulder dip. Good, inhale, rise. Exhale, back to belly. Hands back towards shoulders, press back to tabletop, all fours. Rearrange the body so you can get ready for dog. Toes curl under, hands a little further forward to shoulders. Knees lift, hips press back, down dog. Long line from wrists to hips. Inhale on the balls of the feet. Exhale, drop the left heel, bend the right knee, look underneath the left armpit. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, switch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, both heels drop on your next in-breath. Float the left leg up, three-legged dog. Only if it's comfortable, otherwise hold dog. Roll the ankle. Roll it the other way. Keep it straight, point your toe. Lift it skyward. Bend the top knee. Inhale, pick it up. Step or help it through to a lunge or take little steps to get to the top of the mat. So it could swing through, the other leg could meet it, or little baby steps, up to you. Inhale, lengthen out, flat back. So come on the fingertips or bring the hands to the shins. Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold. Exhale, deep fold. Reverse swan dive with bent knees. Bend the knees, open the arms. Sweep all the way up, palms touch. And then exhale, thumb right between the eyebrows. Take a deep breath. 
Exhale, thumb to heart center. Back to your intention. What did you set at the beginning of class? Breathe that in, deep breath. And exhale, release the arms. Again, bend the knees, bend the hips. Uttakatasana, standing squat. We're gonna do the whole thing again. Just lay your arm, breathe in. Exhale, sweep the arms alongside the body, flat back. Inhale, rise, Tadasana, mountain pose. Just one time here. Now exhale, dive forward, either bent knees or straight legs, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, stretch out. Exhale, deep fold. You're near the top of the mat. You're going to step your right leg back, hands on the ground or the blocks. Like we did before, bend the knees, lift the heart. Lift the hips, straight in the legs, head towards shin. Do that again, bend the knees, lift the heart. Exhale, lift the legs, straighten them, head towards shin. One more time, bend the knees. So just like you did before, just working your legs. Lift the hips, pick them up high, straighten the legs. Bend the front knee, keep the back leg straight, and come on the tips of the fingers. So now we're setting up for a high lunge instead of that knee down lunge. Inhale, arms out and up to frame the head. Hold. You're going to pause here. Good. Straighten the front leg. Open the body up to a wide-legged stance. Turn the toes forward, the heels back, the wrists right above the ankles. Lift the arms up. Interlace your fingers. Release your pointer. And stretch up and over to the right. So a nice wide-legged half moon, standing half moon. Inhale through center. Exhale up and over the other way. Good, inhale through center, release the right hand along the right leg, stretch the left arm overhead. Inhale through center, release the left hand, stretch the right arm. And inhale through center, arm shoulder height, hold here. Bring your hands to your low back, turn your fingers down, your elbows back, lift your heart. So we did a little bit of this flow on Monday, so it might feel familiar if you were with us then. Exhale, hinge at the hips, dive forward. You could slide the hands down the outer edges of the legs. Catch the legs, the ankles, or the feet. If you can reach the big toes, you could take peace fingers around the big toes, catch the toes. We might want to lengthen out for a moment, so holding legs, ankles, feet, or toes, stretch it out. And then exhale, deep fold over the legs. A couple breaths here. Good. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, whether you have the legs, the ankles, the feet, or the toes. And then bend the knees, bring the hands on top of the thighs, press off the thighs, long flat back to come to stand. And then inhale your arms out and up above the head, lift the palms, look up. Exhale, open the arms and shoulder height. Turn the left foot forward. Bend the left knee to warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, deep inhale. And full exhale. As you inhale, let's do one reverse triangle. Inhale, lift it up, open that side body. Again, back hand to back leg, top arm rises. And exhale, warrior two, all the way to lunge. So left arm, right arm, pivot on the ball of the back foot, flip the back heel, lower the back knee. Hold here, hands on the ground or the blocks, rise up on the fingertips. Stay here, or inhale, arms out and up to frame the head. This time, exhale, goddess, your arms, bend the elbows. Take a deep in breath. As you exhale, close the forearms, drop the head, elbows draw towards each other. And inhale, open the arms, open the chest, open the heart, lift the face. Twice more, exhale, close it off. So you're engaging your core, you're engaging your legs. Inhale, open up, you're doing great. Open the elbows, open the heart, open the chest. Exhale, release. And last time, inhale, open up, hold here, pause. Stretch the arms above the head. Exhale, open the arms, dive forward. Catch the ground or the blocks. Now, wiggle your left foot out to the left. Bring your left hand inside the left foot. You could be on the ground or the blocks. If you're on the blocks, they could be on any height. You can drop onto the forearms. We're coming into this lizard lunge again. So we did this Monday with our knee down. So that's option one, keep your knee down. 
Option two, if you want, back toes curled under, knee could lift. So this is our gentle slash moderate pace class. So options to be gentle, to take it slow and easy, and options to pick up the heat or vigor in your practice. So choosing where you want to be. If you're in a lifted lunge, um, engage the core, hug the leg muscles onto the leg bones, and breathe. Couple breaths. Good, take another deep in breath. As you exhale, release the knee, hip was lifted. Come back on the hands if you were on the forearms. Swing the front leg back to meet the back leg. Remove the blocks if you were on them. And now your choice to keep the knees dropped or pop them up off the ground. So either a plank or a modified plank. And then we'll come through either a modified chaturanga with knees down or a full chaturanga with knees lifted. If you're going full version, glide forward an inch or two. Point the elbows back, hover or come to your belly. Inhale, cobra or up dog. So in up dog, you would uncurl the toes behind the tops of the feet, lift the knees. Exhale, release the knees and let's stretch back to child. Big toes touch, knees separate, and just take a moment to land. Drop the head, couple breaths. Good job. And bring your hands back underneath the shoulders. Press into the hands, roll left to sit on your heels. Squeeze the knees together, hip width. Stand up on the shins, inhale, rise. And exhale, just open to tabletop, dive forward. Curl the toes under, lift the knees, press the hips back to dog. Inhale, rise up, balls of both feet. Exhale, right heel drops, left knee bends, pedal out halfway. Inhale, lift. And exhale, switch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, both heels drop. So your choice to either take little steps, little baby steps, as many as you want, or step the right leg forward and the left leg forward. So your choice, either way to get to the top of the mat. Inhale, stretch, fingertips to mat or hands to shins. Exhale, deep fold over the legs. Inhale, reverse swan dive, out and up. And exhale, hands straight to prayer. Close the eyes. Let's take a couple breaths here. So just take a moment to be closed eyes, standing tall, hands in prayer. Take some time to check in. Maybe close the eyes if they're not already. And notice how your body feels. Notice the pace of your breath. The depth of your breath. Notice the beating of the own, your own heart, the pace of your heart. Notice how you feel in the body. How are the muscles and the bones, the joints? How do you feel now versus when you began? Notice any clarity or space in the mind that you might have created. Return back to any intention that you set. How do you want to use this practice to support you? To support your body, your mind, your heart? What do you want to invite in through this practice? Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, release your arms. Last time through, step up, getting near the top of the mat. Bend the knees, bend the hips. Sit into Utkatasana standing squat. Deep breath in. Exhale, swing the arms to flat back, head in line with tail, long spine. Release the arms, inhale, stand up, Tadasana, Mountain Pose, and exhale, Swan Dive over bent or straight legs. Inhale, lengthen flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, stretch out. Exhale, deep fold, left leg comes back, so go ahead and step back to a lunge. Back knee bends, heart opens, lift up, look up. Exhale, lift the hips, straighten the legs, head to shin. Bend the knees, inhale, lift up. And exhale, lift the hips. And do that again. Bend the knees, lift the heart. And exhale, lift the hips. Bend the front knee, keep the back leg straight. Come on the tips of the fingers, hold. And then inhale, arms frame the head like Tadasana. You're in a high lunge. Press out through the back heel, lift up through the chest. Bend the front knee, pause, deep breath. 
As you inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, open up to your wide-legged stance, toes forward, heels back, arms shoulder height, feet parallel. Lift the arms, interlace your fingers. Stretch up and over to the left, so it's like a variation of that standing half moon that we do, usually feet hip width a di distance apart. Inhale up, now legs are wide. Exhale, big side stretch. Good, inhale through center. Release the left hand down, the left leg, lift the right arm, look up. Inhale, arms rise. Other side, right arm releases, left arm stretches, look up. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands come behind you, touch your lower back, drop your tailbone down so the low back is long, elbows point back. The back bends in your upper chest, lift the heart, back bend in the upper chest, heart and upper back, look up. And exhale, dive forward, pour the body forward. Slide the hands down the outer edge of the legs, down the calves, down the ankles. Reach for whatever you can grab onto. If you can touch your toes, um, hook your peace fingers around the inner edge of the toe, thumb, or outer edge of the toe, I guess, between the big toe and second toe. Thumb on the inner edge of the toe, or outer edge, depending on how you're <laughs> seeing it. Lengthen your spine, flat back. Exhale, deep fold, elbows point out, head comes towards the ground. If you don't want to be in a deep fold, just have the hands on the legs and be in a flat back. So again, gentle or moderate. You can have hands to legs flat back, or you can have big toes and be in a really deep fold. Up to you. Couple breaths. You're doing awesome. Good. Inhale, lengthen wherever you are. Get your flat back. And then bend the knees to protect your low back. Bring your hands to your thighs. You're going to press off with a flat back to come all the way up and stand. Inhale, big sun breath, inhale, pick it up. Exhale, open arms, shoulder height. Turn the front foot to the front. Bend the front knee, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, simple. We'll go out of our front fingertips. Inhale, straighten legs, dance back, reverse your triangle. And exhale, through warrior two, all the way to your lunge. Just big transition to cartwheel down. Pluck the back heel up off the ground. Redrop the back knee. Come on the tips of the fingers. Lift the chest. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, goddess the arms. Deep breath in here. Exhale, close the elbows. Drop the head. Inhale, open the elbows. Lift the heart. Lift the chest. Lift the face. Exhale, close the elbows. Glue the forearms together. Drop the head. Inhale, open up. Last time, exhale, close, and inhale, open. Now just lengthen the spine, so without that back bend, lift the arms above the head, so you're just in that knee down lunge. Exhale, open the arms, dive over the leg. <clears throat> the right leg um, wiggles out to the right, the right hand comes inside the right leg. Hands are on the ground or blocks or any prop that you have. You could also drop down onto your forearms. From here, back knee could stay dropped, or you could curl your toes under and lift that back knee up and hold and breathe. And feel your core working, feel your leg muscles working, feel your right knee gluing towards midline instead of letting that right knee flap open, try to pull it in. Take a couple breaths. Deep inhale. Exhale, release the knee if it was lifted. Come back on the fingertips, lift the heart, and then swing that front leg back to meet the back leg. Big toes touch, knees wide, and take a little break. Sink back. Arms extend or palms press together. Elbows bend, forearms fold back to head. Few breaths here. Breathing into the back of the body, the low back, the middle back, the upper back. Exhale, releasing the upper back, the middle back, and the lower back. Good, extend the arms. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Last time, roll up or lengthen up. Glue the knees hip width. Stand up on the shins. Last time, just take a nice high knee, look up, and then dive right into tabletop. Open the arms. This is your last time to come to down dog. Curl the toes under, lift the knees, press the hips back. Inhale, lift the heels. And exhale, drop the left heel, bend the right knee, look underneath the left arm. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, switch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, 
exhale, both heels drop. Two choices, little baby steps to come forward or left leg lifts. And then you step or help the left leg through and then the right leg meets it. Inhale, lengthen last time. Come to shin bones or fingertips to the mat. And exhale, a deep fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Fly all the way out and up, palms touch. Exhale, hands straight through prayer. Close your eyes. Return to your breath. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release your arms. Let's stay standing. Inhale, lift the arms one time. And exhale, open the arms, catch the hips. We're just gonna do a standing balance here. So you're gonna stand on the um, left leg and let's actually release the hands alongside the body. So stand on your left leg, I'll turn this way. And you're gonna slice your right leg back as you bring your right arm back and your left arm forward Point your right toes and just balance. So hips are square. So we're not opening the hip. You're dropping the hip. You're just prepping for dancer pose. You're standing on your left leg. Your left arm's high. Right arm, leg's back. Just a couple inches off the ground. Right arm alongside the body. Deep breath. Exhale, release. You're going to scissor the arm, scissor the leg. Stand on the right foot. Lift the right arm. And then slice the left leg back. Point the toe. Breathe. Exhale, release. Do that again. Stand on the left foot. Slice the right leg back. So you're just doing a little bit of a balance. Hold. And exhale, release. Other side, just a little bit of a balance. Slice the left leg back. Stand on the right leg. Hold. And exhale, release. Now, stand on the left leg. Slice the right leg back and hold. That's option one. And you're going to stay here for a few breaths. If you feel like you have your balance, bend the knee. And if you can, hold the top of the foot. You could hold the outer foot or the inner foot. If you can't reach the foot, you could grab your pants. If you're wearing, <laughs> I was gonna say if you're wearing pants, maybe you're having shorts on or something else. Hold here, press your foot into hand, hand into foot, and then press the um, chest forward and press that leg back to come into dancer. And it might be little, it might be big, you're gonna balance on that one leg, gaze out over the front fingers, hold. Good, release, come on up. Hold the hips, send the right leg forward, flex the foot, pause, balance on one leg, and exhale, release. Whole thing on the other side, I'm just gonna switch this way. So you're standing on the right foot, arms release. Step one, left leg slices back, left arm slices back, right arm rises high. This is perfect, you could stay here. Great place to build some balance. Hold there, if you want more, bend the knee, that's harder. If you want more, catch the foot, hold the outer edge or the inner edge of the foot. If you want more, press the foot in the hand, press the hand in the foot, lift the heart forward, reach the right arm through. Look over the front hand and breathe. You're in dancer pose. You're doing awesome. I can see you right through the camera. You look amazing. Hold there. Good, inhale, rise up, lift the arm, lift the leg, bend the um, knee forward, hold the hips, extend the leg to the front, flex your foot. And exhale, release. Let's spring up. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, deep sigh. <sighs> Inhale, flat back. Ardha Uttanasana, stretch it out. And exhale, deep fold. Step the right leg back, land on the right knee. Step the left leg back, land on the left knee. Toes are curled under. Let's walk the arms out. Come into puppy, hips are high, chest melts. Chin or forehead to the mat, hold here. Big stretch for the back. Pausing, breathing. Okay, uncurl the toes, sit back on the heels, slide the arms back, press in the hands, roll up and sit on heels. And we're just gonna come seated. So send the hips off to the side. Swing the legs around to the front. And um, let's take our twist seated today. We've been working on that a little bit. So send the uh, right leg forward, left foot to the ground. And then you could bring this right leg in line with belly button and cross the left leg over if there's space. So on Monday, we did this with a straight leg. If you wanted to bend your bottom knee, you could kind of rock over the right hip, tuck that foot under, and then come back on the sitting bones. But it's just tucked next to the hip, so you're on both sit bones. 
Hold the shin of the front leg and use that to help you sit up tall. So bottom leg either straight or tucked. If it's straight, flex your foot. Inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, twist towards the front bent knee. Bring the left hand to the ground. Wrap the right arm around that top leg or hold the outer edge of the arm across the lap. Palm like a high five. Look to the side or look over the back. Good, unwind your body. From here, we're gonna take either cow face, double pigeon, or cross leg. So cow face, if you have that leg tucked, you would walk the top leg across, the inner thighs would touch and the knees would touch. And then you'd move your heels away from the body so there's equal distance between the hip and the heel. You could also do a half cow face. If you have that bottom leg unwound, it would look like this. So that's one option, cow face. Another option, if it feels like you want um, just a different sensation in the hips, you could open that knee and stack the shin. So you'd bring one ankle to the knee and then the other knee to the ankle. And the shins would be pretty much um, parallel with the front edge of the mat. So that's another option. And if neither of those work for your hips or your knees, which is totally understandable, you could have your left leg in front and just be in cross legs. So cross leg, double pigeon, or cow face, which could happen with the bottom leg tucked or straight. Sit up tall wherever you are, lengthen, maybe close your eyes. If you're in cow face, hold your feet, um, or you could touch the ground, take a deep in breath. As you exhale, maybe fold forward. So you could hinge at the hips, and you could dive over the legs and keep a flat back or around the spine. So hopefully, perhaps, you're feeling something in your hips. Good. And then just breathing in to that sensation, to that place of tightness or tension that you might be holding. Just breathe into that space. See if you could free it up a little bit and maybe find some room to go a little deeper. Good, but only as far as you feel comfortable. There's no need to push. Just come right up against that edge and breathe into it. Good, lengthen your spine, come all the way up. Let's just tip back and unwind our legs. So whatever position you chose, unravel. Feet as wide as your mat, couple windshield wipers. Good job. And then we'll just do that whole twist and hip opener on the other side. So the knees will come to the center, to the ceiling. Feet hip width. <clears throat> um, I think I forgot what side we did. I think the left leg comes forward, the right knee's bent. Um, whatever side you haven't done yet. This is correct though, I believe. So the left leg comes in front of the midline, the um, right leg can cross on top. You're gonna hold the shin and sit up really, really tall. So shoulders down and back. And remember, we had a choice. We could take that left leg or the bottom leg and you could tuck it underneath your body, but then you, you just bring it alongside the right hip. So the hips and the sitting bones are down on the ground. Hold the shin, lift up tall. Inhale the right arm up whichever pose you're in, and then twist towards the front bent knee, bring that top arm down to the ground, and then gather your knee into your elbow. Sit up really tall and long. Maybe hook your elbow across your lap, palm like a high five, sit up tall and long, or look over your back shoulder and hold. So you're wringing out, you're finding that deep twist, and you're unraveling any tension in the body, you're wringing out the organs, you're increasing the blood flow. Stretching the back, breathing in, massaging the organs, getting everything working today. Good, unwind. Choices, you could take cow face where the inner thighs squeeze together, the feet walk away, inner thighs touch. Remember, you could also do this with the bottom leg unwound. Other option, double pigeon, you could stack ankles above knees with shins parallel to the front of the room. You can hold your foot in your knee or hold the ground. Third option, cross leg with right leg in front. So cow face, half cow face, double pigeon, or cross legs, lots of choices. Sit up tall, take a breath, breathe, close the eyes. Another deep inhale. 
Exhale, hinge at the hips, up and over the legs. Long spine or round the back, hold. Breathe. Breathe right into the hips, right into that spot where you're feeling it most. Imagine you have lungs there and you could inhale right into that space. And exhale, feel yourself soft and release, let go of something somewhere. Good job. From here, lengthen the spine, come all the way up. Tip yourself back, unwind the legs, take the feet as wide as the mat, and just a couple windshield wipers. Good. And then the next time the knees come to the left, just hold, turn your head to the right, close your eyes, and breathe. starting to wind down. Inhale through center, exhale up and over the other way, hold, close the eyes, breathe. Good. Inhale, knees through center. Um, you're going to scooch up to the top of the mat, but I want to show you something. So in case you haven't done this before, actually, let's just go ahead and Come into this together and if you haven't done this you can always take a peek if you need to but i'll guide you in um, with my words we're going to come into fish pose so some of you may have done this some of you may not have but i'll lead you in so lift the arms up tall sit up tall and then lower your back so tuck the tail scoop the belly come all the way down and then when you get all the way down just take your big stretch so send the legs forward send the arms behind you so you've done this before if you've ever practiced with me just a big stretch out simple Hug knees into belly, familiar, hold the knees, hold the shins, or wrap the arms around the legs, and rock. Just a nice way to decompress the spine, create some more space between each vertebra, lengthen the low back. Hold your knees, circle the knees. Good. And then circle the knees the other way. Good job. All right, you're gonna send the legs long, and then let the legs get nice and tight, close together, like glue the inner thighs together, and the inner knees and the inner calves, and then point the toes or flex the feet, but activate the legs, so firm them up like one strong leg. Arms alongside the body, palms down. You're gonna tuck your thumb and your pointer finger under the body, and again, you can look if you need to look and see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try to explain it the best I can. Thumb and pointer finger underneath, Arms straight, legs straight, palms down to the ground. So to come into fish pose, it's a heart opener. You're gonna pop the chest up, bend the elbows, and as you're doing that, lift the chin up and slide up onto the back of the head. And then you might wanna press into the elbows and just lift the head up and come back down. Probably gonna lose my mic here. Um, come back down onto the head. Good, you're gonna keep your hands tucked. So we're here. Good. Wherever you are, take a deep breath. Exhale, slowly lower just by tucking the chin, sliding back on the skull, lowering the spine, and straightening the arms. Any wiggles, adjusting that you need to, do that. Maybe gather the knees in again. Hold the knees or the shins. Wrap their arms around the legs. Rock, whatever feels good, wherever you want to hold. And then let's take one more thing together. So open the knees, bring the soles of the feet together, hold the ankles, the tops of the feet or the outer edges of the feet, hug them into the uh, belly or into the groin. So you feel that long low back. You could also catch the big toes like we did in that wide-legged fold. Take a hold of the big toes and then flex the feet up to the ceiling. Knees are bent, arms are straight. You're in happy baby and take a rock. So it might feel really nice on the low back, on the hips, on the inner thighs. You're doing great. And then let that rock come to stillness. Bring the feet together, knees apart, hands to the knees, inner thighs touch, feet come to the ground, uh, knees up to the ceiling. One last thing, arms alongside the body, press into the feet and lift the hips. 
Let's just elevate the hips. That would feel nice after that fish pose and after our happy baby. So arms alongside the body or roll one shoulder under, roll the other shoulder under, interlace the fingers, press the hips high and breathe. Good, deep inhale. Exhale, release, interlace fingers if you had them, lower the spine. Stretch the right leg forward. Stretch the left leg forward. Take a moment to move or not move in any way that you'd like before you come to Shavasana. We're gonna come right to rest. So any wiggles, any adjustments, any hugging into the legs, any final poses, take it. I'm gonna guide you into Shavasana, but there's no hurry. Come in when you're ready. Eventually you're on your back. Legs will come long. Arms will come long. Feet splay open. Palms open to the ceiling. Backs of hands touch the ground. Head right in line with the rest of the body. Eyes are closed. You're gonna stay there in Shavasana. So let your whole body start to relax. So this is gonna be our final pose. So you're staying on your back. You're letting your whole body start to relax and surrender. This is one of the most important things that we do, this final pose of Shavasana. So as you settle into this place and you close your eyes and you let your body relax and let the mind settle and let the breath soften, Allow yourself to be supported. Allow yourself to be held up by the earth. Feel yourself slip into this effortless state of being, this optimal place of alignment. See if there's anywhere else you could soften or relax. Good. As you continue to settle into Shavasana, I'll share a reading with you. What will I know if I go below the choppy surface of the mind? Focus flows and there are no fixed points. Slow currents swirl and slip still deeper. I grow very quiet. The mind attends to the subtlest sensations. It is a different world and I am an explorer of these inner realms where nothing stays the same for very long. Energy shifts and changes. I find peace beneath the surface. Bring it back with me. Hold it in my hands like a small white bird and then release it, that peace might fly where it's most needed. disturbing anything. Just bring your awareness back. You're welcome to rest in Shavasana for as long as you'd like if your time allows for that.
If and when you are ready to come out, just begin to deepen your breath first. Start to feel your breath be sent to all the edges and corners of the body. Notice how your body feels. If you'd like to bring movement back in, start to reconnect to movement in the most gradual, gentle way. Any way that feels comfortable to you. Take your time to make your way onto either side to come into a fetal pose, bringing the knees into the belly and the arms into the chest. Take another moment to rest. To come back home to your heart and to come back home to any intention that you might have created at the very beginning of your practice or in this moment. How do you want to lead forward today? How do you want to feel? How do you want to show up? What do you want to invite in? Pressing the ground away, come up to seated. Eyes can stay closed or a soft, steady gaze. Once you're sitting, let the backs of the hands touch the lap, let the palms open up. Touch your pointer finger to your thumb so you're in this Gia mudra, or hand mudra of continuous energy, looping through the body. Sit up nice and tall, close the eyes, and find your breath again. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. Good. On your next in-breath, bring the hands together to prayer position on Javi mudra. Palms will touch in front of the heart. And as you exhale, bow your head to your heart. We'll end together on the sound of OM, the sound of community, starting with our letting go breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, a sigh. And we'll begin. Deep breath in. yourself, taking one last moment to honor the divinity and the light that shine within you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Have a beautiful day. It's so great to see you guys in the virtual world and be able to keep practicing with you. So um, I'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of the week. Uh, happy early Mother's Day to all the moms out there and the dog moms and the plant moms and the women. Uh, I hope you're having a great week and I can't wait to see you again real soon. So I'll be back um, Friday morning at 9 a.m. for a moderate flow class and then Friday evening for a candlelight class. So tune back into our Facebook page, check out our website, BerkshireYogaDanceFitness.com for our full schedule. We have lots of other great classes. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Sarah. Um, and you can go back to YouTube to view this class and many of our other classes. You can also see them on the video tab. So thanks. It was awesome to see you guys. I love seeing all your familiar faces and knowing that you're practicing Stay in touch. Let me know what you need, what you want, any feedback, any ideas, um, suggestions, welcome. So please like the videos, share the videos, let people know what we're doing. Um, we would love to have as many people as possible finding joy through movement with us here at Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. Great. Thank you, Karen. Good to see you. Uh, thank you, Jenna. Good to see you too. It's so awesome to see some familiar faces. And Shannon, awesome. Great. Ah, you guys have a great day. I can't wait till we're back in the studio again soon. So stay tuned for that too. We're working hard on um, making a plan to reopen eventually when we get the go ahead. So we'll be posting information on that, but eventually we will be back in the studio and we'll make sure that it's safe and comfortable for you when that time is right. And we'll also hopefully continue these um, live stream classes as well at some capacity. So um, great, Melissa, thank you. You sent the link to your students and their parents. That's awesome. Um, we really appreciate that. So thanks so much. Um, that'll keep us going and sustained during this closure. So then when we are ready to open, we hopefully have a wonderful community of folks that want to come back and practice. 
in a socially distant safe way. So um, until next time, you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you really, really soon. Mwah. Thanks, mom. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Have a great day.